and welcome to part two of today's video. Me, Andy, M <laughs> are going to be going around tidying up at the bottom of the hedges. Uh, we've got some big trees that we need to just cut some little bits off. We've got a, a tree that's fallen into the field that we need to sort out. And also, um, well, you'll find out what Emma eats in a minute. What? <laughs> so we're on it. See you in a bit. Oh, me and Em. I've made it to the field and Andy was already here. Um, we're going to go over to this side. There's a tree that is... Um, I don't know if it came over in that storm or what, but um, it's in the field. So we're going to chainsaw it back. If there's anything any good in it, we'll put it in the trailer. If it's not, we'll just leave it in the sides for the hedgehogs to get in and all that kind of stuff, birds to birds to get away from everything. Yeah, so we're just gonna have a look at that now. And he's gonna pull the fence down. Andy, Andy, Andy. So Andy got his training in for this. I reckon we have no fence left when Andy's done the training. I can't say I'd be any better, but... No, no. Come on, Andy, tell us what you're doing. So, this was the tree, and it was over onto here, so we're just um, tidying up the branches now. This is a nature reserve that we have the cattle on. Um, it's just grown, grown over the willow and then collapsed into the field. So, let's get rid of that. So Andy's made a job of it down here. Just trying to trim these willows back because willows are just so fast growing. They keep coming out into the field, so he keeps knocking them back. And then what he's done is he's just done the top um, of the dike side to one chop up the little branches that have fallen onto it but also to keep the grasses on the bank sides under control as well. We have got some little bits of wood here, so I'll just chuck that out now. We said being a farmer ain't fun. <laughs> Emma, are you going to have a go? You going to have a go on the swing? Probably what? Wait well, for it, Em's going to lose her trousers. Views will be through the roof. <laughs> I'm trying to fly off. Yeah, yeah. How do you do this? Swing it, come on, jump on now. I might, I might hurt my cream a bit. Do You want have you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I said about my trousers? Yeah, you did. You did, um, you did. That's my hundred pound trousers. Uh oh. Told you you shouldn't have done it, Em. <laughs> it's, it? it's not going, is it? We're just trying to knock this back. What are you doing now? Smell, like. Smell like England. It tastes like England. Um, <laughs> she just ate it. What? I didn't get it on camera. You have to eat another bit now, Em. It's yours, it's oil. <laughs> oh, God. Might be from sewage works, that, you know. It's got two. Is it? <laughs> Uh, you have to smell it and taste it. You know yeah. what I call it? It's like for learning. Do they? I didn't really teach you. Yeah. But it's got grit and stuff. Oh. Mm. Are they grit? Yeah. No, you don't, you don't eat a spoonful. <laughs> you just have a bit in your mouth. And... Lovely. So, yeah, we're just trying to take these wheels back anyway, as I was saying. But um, it's just a nightmare trying to take them. So, we've, some are still out overhanging. What breed of soil is this? I don't know, fine loam. Awesome. Yeah. Toodaloo! 
So we've got the trailer on as well, just to, um, if there's any big branches, we'll can ship them out then. Uh, we had to bring that tractor down anyway to fetch M, so um, we thought we might as well put the trailer on while we're at it. Right, okay, let's get down there. So I'm just gonna race behind them over this rough tram line. Um, we've got little bits like this, you see, where the willows have, uh, have cracked over and could just do with taking back a little bit. So it's dead anyway, so it needs to be uh, just attacked back. See what these guys want us to do now. So this stuff here is willow, and it um, a willow. And because it's dead, it's that sort of stuff. It will just snap off that, and it will grow anywhere. So like if you leave a branch on the floor, it'll um, it'll set itself again. It'll root and set itself. So really really quick growing wood that we're, uh, that we're taking back here it's not like oak or anything it's uh, it's all willow down here em is tarzan we're going to try and pull this one off with the strap so we've got a lot of pigeons and crows on here on the stubble, not really damaging anything, but there's a lot of them. There must be some food for them there, Em. Eh? Mm. So, do you remember when me and Em were watching the spiky bits go past the farm on the massive lorries? Then we've been watching a long time, remember? Check this out. That is not that one, not that one. Well, that windmill there, that's it, yeah. it's not turning today either, is it? None of them are. No wind. Destroyed itself um, about a year ago or something. Yeah. It's all right, isn't it? Um, one of the, yeah, it was, yeah. There was nothing there for a long time. It was actually left up. It was just broken. Din dinted and broken. Uh, it was like the blurred one. Yeah. Just... Yeah, the, bl the blade had like run into the, Tower. So the tower was bent and damaged. Oh yeah, what a job. Can you imagine that's a million pound insurance job, definitely. Hey, what are you? Can't have any we are stuck in a traffic jam. This never happens around here, does it, Emily? No, this one. Show them this show them traffic. Never have traffic, traffic on here. Look. And a police car though. We will soon find out. Andy's up front, maybe you can shift yeah. the cars out of the way. Go on Andy, just you've got to give them a shove. For the JCB. The uh, cars, so... Oof. But yeah, that's nasty that. So he's, got, he's got airbags on front of his like, uh, bonnet. Yeah. Taking the pipes off now. You were a little bit worried, weren't you, then, when you were filming our neighbour? Oh, hello. hello. We've got a lorry here. Business. Got some molasses. Oh. You wait. Oh, this guy. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice lorry. Em's like, I'll sort this out. Loves a nice Scania. Yeah, it's a tiny wagon, is that? Scania Super. I wonder this. While he um, gets that unloaded into our massive tank, then um, we'll do we'll do some vaccinating some cattle. If I can get my words out, because our fluke aside, the medicine that we'd ran out of has been delivered, so we can get them guys done. So, let's get the laptop and the uh, vaccine. Em's now spilling fluke. I don't think there's any liquid that you can't not spill, is there? Oil goes everywhere. No, he did actually do a good job with petrol, as far as we know. As far as we know. But we're back on, we've got it. We need to get another one of them. So that's, you see how that's compressed, that tub? It's not very good, is it? We, we did have one with like a valve on it, didn't we, Andy? 
and then I think it ended up going dead. But then they send like a crappy plastic top like that, and they're uh, they're no good because they just suck in on themselves. Anyway, it's co it's not coffee time. It's pop time now. So me, Andy, and M now are just vaccinating a few cattle. Seems we've got the full provider. Yeah, nice and steady these Angus. Getting them done pretty quick. Not that we encourage drinking or anything like that on this. It's a show. It's not a show. It's just a blog. But um, we want to get one of them that we can put like beer or spirits through, don't we? You know, like so you can pull it and then like it fires a fifty mil shot out or something. Oh, so. <laughs> Has anyone made one before out of like a wormer gun or that kind of thing? And what did you use? Let us know in the comments or give us a link to one or something because um, we think it'd be quite fun, don't we? Even if it's just like putting beer through it or something. Not necessarily shots. It'd be something different, wouldn't it? Just something a bit, a bit quirky. So we've got all these fellas done now. Getting back into their pen. A few big ones in these coming to us way too big like this guy it's probably like 600 kilos already which uh, yeah it's gonna be massive by the time he, he uh, does all these things that he needs to tick off to uh, to be sent to our suppliers the, the amount of time he's got to be here but they are very relaxed this group of cattle really nice and chilled Oh yeah, a bit relaxed these ones. I like them. Right, we're now going to get sorted. Andy's going to do a mix while we feed round with the TM, me and M. That needs put in back on the sobo. Right, Andy? Um, and yeah, and then we're about done. So we're about done. I've got to take some cattle in, I would assume. And also I might need to do a trip to Thirsk. Not sure on that, but it might be a late night for me. So, <laughs> getting down from there. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it from us today, I think. There's been two videos. Yeah. So if you've got this far and you've not noticed, there's, there's one one before. Um, and if you press that like button, it really helps us out because it gets it out to more people and all that kind of thing. Done it, Andy. Yeah. Yeah. And if you share it with your friends and if you subscribe and if um, as an itchy nose. Um, but yeah, we'll catch you tomorrow. I'm probably going to have to, you two are going to go home. I'm going to take these cows. Sounds like my dad's back now, actually. So, right, we're off. Yeah. Bye. Well, the sun's setting as I'm getting uh, back into the yard now. So this is why the video has been a bit late. It took so long to get it up, guys. I'm just going to have to edit it now and, uh, and yeah, get this second video done. So, yeah, see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you. Bye.